Michael, firstly, um, Big Orange, how is he after the uh, tough Ascot race? Yeah, he seems fine. He took it very well. He's eaten everything since the race. His training's gone smoothly, so I couldn't be happier with him. Yeah, and looking back on that race, it was a real, for you, it must have been a pretty nerve-wracking experience. Were you confident that he'd won when he'd got to the line, or were I you thought, still I thought, yeah, I did think he'd won, but I, a furlong out, I was a bit concerned. But, you know, I knew that he'd find more when Audrey St George came to him, but it was... Uh, I was mightily relieved. Yeah, and um, so looking towards the Goodwood Cup, you've got Frankie back. Has he spent much time with Big Orange since, since his injury? We keep him away. We keep him <laughs> away. And um, so in terms of the ground for Goodwood, obviously it's pretty miserable today. Um, what are you hoping for? Well, obviously we want fast ground. And, uh, as I've said to a few of your media colleagues, you know, you can drive yourself crazy looking at weather forecasts. And um, we... Yes, we want fine weather, but I would imagine he's probably going to run whatever this year. But I haven't actually had that subject with the Greddies yet, but I, there's nothing else for him. So unless it's a bog, I would say he'll run. And you go into this race as a hot favourite. Is it different for you as a trainer having a four to five shot than having an outsider who you just you know hope, hope can beat? Yeah, I mean, I think the only thing is the obviously expectation levels are more and then... It's not often you go into group races being disappointed if you don't win, but I'd say in this case, bearing in mind he's odds on, he's won the last two races, we probably will be a bit deflated if he doesn't win, but that's just, it's, but that's the way it is because he's favourite and um, hopefully um, he will justify favouritism. Yeah, and you mentioned expectations there. Um, he's a real people's favourite. What's it like having a horse with that much? Well, it's it's a new experience for me, um, uh, and it's it's very rewarding because it's nice to see that you know the equine stars, the, they really are the stars of the show. Obviously, we've got the the jockeys and the, but it's the end of the day. There's no racing without horses. Yeah, and um, all being well coming out of the race and the win. What what are the other targets for this year? You're not going to go abroad? No, I mean he's the he's in the Irish Ledger. Um, he could go to France for one of those stairs races over Art Weekend if the ground's right. But I'd say the, you know, we've got possibly Doncaster Cup, but again, that's worth very little. Um, but the main aim would be the race at Ascot, the Champion Series, the, yeah. you know, the two-mile race. That's very perfect. And um, finally, is he going to win? Yes, he's going to win. Well, we wish you all the very best and big orange. Thank, Thank you, you very much.